Hey everybody, it's Richard R. Auto Diag, and today we're having a look at another Focus ST, and it's got a boost fault. Okay, so as I said, it's Focus ST. It's about 2008. I have done a video on a boost fault on this before, or on one of these cars before. It was giving us a uh, PO238. We've got a PO237 this time. So we're going to go off and have a look at that. First, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at, see if we can find some live data. Just using the Autel today. Right, okay. So let's see if we can find boost pressure. Ah, there it is. Turbo boost pressure. So we have 0.3 of a psi. Um, that doesn't sound good. I'm pretty sure on these they are absolute pressure sensors, so we should see about a bar of pressure, which is what about 15 psi. So we should be seeing that, but we're not. Um, If we start it up, we'll have another look. Uh, doesn't have a key. Push start. And we've got no change of it started up there. So let's go to the sensor and have a look. Right, okay, so we've got the sensor disconnected behind the headlight. We probed into number three and number four pin here. We've got just under five volts there, which I'm happy with. And with it disconnected, we got 37 psi on the on the scan tool, so we are seeing a reaction there. What we'll do is we'll um, pull the sensor out and we'll put some pressure to it, see if that changes anything or whether it still says there's no pressure there. And then we'll um, we'll go on from there and see what else we can do. Right, okay, so we've got a pipe joined up to the pressure sensor there. We're up to a MITIVAC and we've put about 15 psi of pressure on there. And the scan tool still reads 0.3 of a psi so still no good so we'll see if we can do a bypass test on this prove that the wiring is good and then we'll put another sensor in it right okay so we're in terminal three and four with the uh, decade box we've got it on about 3000 ohms here and as we can see we've got about one bar of pressure that's 14 psi there so if i put it up to say four we change up to 17 Go three, two. We go down to eleven. So we're happy with all the wiring. We're happy that the ECU is picking it up because we can see the change on the scan tool. So we can be confident we're going to need to put a sensor in this. So we'll get a new one, put it in, and should be able to clear down the codes, and that'll be it. All right. Okay. So we've just plugged in a new Bosch sensor, and as we can see here, we've got 15 psi, which is what we suspected because it's an absolute pressure sensor. So that's in, so we're all happy with that. Uh, if we come back out of this, we should be able to erase the codes. Recheck the codes again. No fault codes present, so we're all done with that one. Thanks for watching and uh, come along for the next one.